Hi Bagaholics! Hope you had a great week! Today's our review is about Louis Vuitton kimono bag. Let's take a look at the bag and decide if it's good for your needs. <laughs> Louis Vuitton kimono bag was released in several colors and the combination of a monogram canvas and the uh, colorful leather makes it very unique and stylish and you've probably seen it somewhere because this bag is quite popular not the most popular Louis Vuitton bags it's quite stylish it's quite nice and there are a lot of uh, fans of this style uh, specifically. Now my favorite color combination is this one with the monogram canvas and cerise color. I think it uh, makes the bag look very unique and bright and uh, as most of my closet are neutral colors uh, like black or beige or uh, light blue uh, then probably I love colorful accents on my bags and I often wear bags of some kind of crazy colors like neon colors right uh, just to add this pop of color to my um, whole outfit now in terms of size this Louis Vuitton kimono probably reminds you another Louis Vuitton bag which is Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM and if we compare these bags together you can see that the size is very very similar. Neverfull is a little larger but uh, it's mostly due to the structured shape of the kimono bag. If Neverfull is not that structured that's why it appears a little larger than a kimono because overall the amount of space is very similar. Uh, the kimono has a divider inside though so if you love to organize your your stuff and you need a divider uh, and uh, a zip pocket inside then this bag might suit your needs a little better than a Neverfull because in a Neverfull you will need an organizer to carry all of your stuff with you. Now uh, the handles are quite comfortable you can't wear it on the shoulder. As you know, I'm very, very petite and uh, I wouldn't recommend carrying it uh, if you have larger bone structure, right? So uh, it's not the best way to carry it and all I can think about is my armpit and uh, the bag and uh, it's getting wet in some sense, if you, if you know what I mean then uh, I would only carry it as a handbag or yeah ju just as a handbag. Now what type of wear and tear can you expect from this bag? So first thing uh, I notice is that the handles are easily scratched. There, there were a lot of small very small scratches on the handle uh, after the previous bag owner used it, the bag for about like two years. Uh, right, so the handles will be uh, scratched a little. You will notice little scuffs and scratches. It doesn't hit you in the eye. I mean, it's not straightforward. It, do it doesn't make the bag look bad, but uh, it will exist at some point. Now moving next, we can see that the canvas is a little crooked next to the handle, both on the back of the bag and on the front of the bag. The leather part is not that crooked, the leather part is actually okay, but uh, the canvas is a little different from what it used to look when it was brand new and uh, that just disturbs you a little bit. Regarding the corners, um, I've never heard about some issues with the corners and partly that's due to the shape of the bag. It doesn't have any straightforward corners, right? So maybe you will have a little wear and tear here and there, but uh, overall the corners will look fine. However, however, the main issue with this bag is its top part. I've never heard the cracks are very typical for this exact bag, but uh, as I examined this bag I have in my hands, I saw a very, very, very little cracks. If the canvas is folded, then it will have cracks anyway and uh, whenever you are buying a new bag think about it and uh, ensure that uh, the bag doesn't have this 
folded canvas, like pochette mattis, like W toed, like this kimono, because canvas will, will crack eventually at some point. The shape of the bag is overall good. The canvas is folded each time you are taking this bag with you, each time you put something inside, and uh, these cracks will appear. Now, of course, the most obvious wear and tear that you will have are the scratches on this top V, but uh, it's a common issue, it will happen anyway, and uh, if you're not ready for it, don't buy this bag. Overall, I recommend buying this bag if you're looking for a great alternative to a never full or you like this type of bags, this totes with lots of space inside, and you also love colorful leather, uh, like me, because these two are my favorites at the moment and both are available at our online shop so don't forget to check out the link below it's a very very beautiful color combination and whenever you take these babies outside you add a little special touch to your um, outfit and you're definitely elevating your outfit because these look very very expensive and they are expensive actually so both of these bags are over $2,000 in retail. Even when you are buying a pre-loved bag, this one goes for around like 2,000, 2,500, somewhere around the, that figure. It's quite valuable and uh, it's very easy to resell because many people are looking for this exact bag. All right, hope you like the review. If you have this uh, Louis Vuitton kimono, share your experience with this bag in comments. I'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts? Uh, do you love this bag or not? And uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel and see you next week. Bye-bye. I'm not about, about, about.